What's up, everybody? Good afternoon. So this is Arnan again with Engrave It. Um, we're going to be actually freehanding something. So lately, I've uh, been seeing a lot of posts on social media that, oh, I freehand this, I freehand that. Um, you know, if you're drawing it, to me, that's not considered freehand. Freehand to me is when you could actually carve it without drawing it. Now, not gonna lie, sometimes um, I do say that I'll draw something out if it's the opposite side to make sure it's like a mirror effect and stuff like that. But if you're calling it freehand, I don't know what to tell you, but in my opinion, freehand is actually when you're, draw you're not drawing anything, you're just engraving it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys a knockoff that got damaged um, the knockoff is originally from Superior Wire Wheel. Uh, it wasn't damaged by him. A customer must have flown off or something. It looks pretty fucked up. Um, and I'm going to show you a new knockoff. I already have it mounted up. Um, I will go ahead and engrave it for you guys live right now. And then hopefully, it'll, hopefully Instagram lets me save it so we could put it on YouTube. Um, so for everybody could keep looking at it. Um, but... I'm gonna show you guys, this is a knockoff that I did maybe a few years back. Um, it's a little simpler, not too crazy. Um, but we'll go ahead and um, you know, show you guys live right here on Instagram. Um, and hopefully, like I said, if Instagram lets me save it, we will put it up on YouTube so everybody could watch it again um, after the 24 hours. And I uh, appreciate everybody taking it out. And thank you guys, go follow it on YouTube. Uh, search No Chicken Scratch. Engrave it, okay? Um, here we go, I'm gonna flip this around here. So this is obviously the brand new knockoff, Superior Wire Wheel, okay? So this is the knockoff that got damaged. Now that thing is jacked up. Look at the adapter had to get cut. The adapter's inside. You know, this knockoff, you could tell the brass, you know, this is brass, it's not gold plated, okay? This is brass. Um, knockoffs are brass. I think I've done that before and I've said that before, but just in case everybody remembers, they're not gold plated. So, this knockoff right here, you can see it got pretty beat up, man. Um, I don't know what the hell happened. I haven't even asked Angel from Superior, but I will know whose ever this was. It is pretty fucked up, man. Um, but, you know, you know, it is Superior Wire Wheel um, knockoff. I think customer probably just put the Zenith wire wheel on there, but uh, yeah, um, so we'll go ahead and uh, I'm gonna pass the phone to uh, Luis here and um, he's gonna film me doing this knockoff, all right? Always use protection on knockoffs, the engraving chips away. So you can use regular goggles, but on knockoffs, I try to use like a face mask because it chips out so much, it'll get all over your hair, it'll get everywhere. Um, depending obviously what style engraving you're doing. So let's uh, make sure this is good. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm going to go ahead and look at this design, more or less mimic it, what was there, and I'll put it on here, and then we'll do the sides. Now, obviously, on the sides, um, I don't know if Luis can get this, but, you know, we got one, two, three, one, two, three split down the middle. I'll do that without drawing it as well. I originally had some engraving on the side and even the end cap. The end cap is just simple. It's just a carved line with some little dots, nothing crazy. Ow, fuck. Cut me. So... You gotta be careful when you guys got stuff like this because you will cut yourself. This material is still sharp. So we'll go ahead and uh, mimic all that, okay? So we'll start with the little sides here. See, you could tell it chips away. Let's see if Luis can get it right here. Oh, 
Now I apologize if it makes it, I make it look easy. It's 20 years of just bumping my head against the wall and learning. So on here, we just did the end cap right here. And that's all we're gonna do now until we get to the dotting stage of it. So now we'll do this end. So we'll calculate more or less, more or less where it ends and where it's gonna start and do the borders on the side. So it matches that and mimics that. So, and then same thing on the top, we'll just do the border to do in here, okay? Go turn off that compressor real quick. Sorry about that. I want to turn the compressor off so you guys don't have to get bugged by the noise. So here's one side already. You kind of see it, it's kind of hard to tell, but it matches the design. And it's the opposite of this design on the other side. So we'll go ahead now and we'll do the other side over here. So now we have the left and right to match at least one side of it, okay? And now we'll just start doing the center up and just divide it down the middle. On leaves, you get kind of lucky. Most of the time, the hex, the hex up here is centered out. So this part, you can calculate the middle without drawing anything. So if you're wondering how more or less I come up with how to not draw it, that's kind of how I come up with my center point and then divide it more or less uh, without using a marker. And this is what I would consider, once again, this is what I consider true freehand. 
okay? So when you're not drawing nothing, that to me is true freehand. Whether you have to still do a mirror image left and right. If anybody's got questions, let me know.
right, so now we got one side already done to match the knockoff. And if you look at it, now you could see true free hand, no drawing. This is actually what, in my book, in my eyes, in my opinion, this is what true free hand is. Is no drawing, still split down the middle, still one, two, three, one, two, three, one over here with a leaf. Even did the inside cut to match the Ixing, actually one there. We even put little leaves with a little inside cut in there. Yes, it's a simple design, but it's still the point of being able to do it freehand. So now, without drawing it, we'll do this side. And I want to zoom in to something, okay? Because I want everybody to try to get focused. There is no etching, there's no etching, there is no scribe line on any of these areas, okay? So in case somebody wants to be smart and say that I'm drawing it or scribing it on there, no. Those little lines that you see are scratches from the polishing. There is no, absolutely no lines there that are drawings, okay? There's no drawings on here. It's all freehand. So I'll give this back to Luis. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and crank out the other side.
there's side number two, freehand, all this. So same thing, put it up against here, we can match it, one, two, three. Same, the scrolls are facing down the same, facing up the same, going down the same. Flip it around, even though this is jacked up, you could still see it facing the same way. Split down the middle, same exact way, left or right. Then you go flip it around, you could do the same thing. Now that's what I consider freehand. Real true freehand. So now go back up here. We'll do these designs. Freehand as well. No drawing. Okay, so now we'll do the border. So this one, you could kind of see it. The other one, it's so damaged. You know, this one, you can't really see what the border on the top and bottom, but here you could actually see that it used to go around all the way. Okay, so there's one border already done. We'll knock out the other side. Now we have the borders to match, to mimic this. Obviously we left a little open area here. You can't notice it because it got so damaged. The little lip that comes out here has little fat dots in here, okay? And one more time, I'll say it again. The background shading or dots is not an engraving style. It is not an engraving style. That's just dots in the background. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and um, start doing the scroll work. We see that they're both kind of facing each other, left and right, and then going outwards from the last part of it.
So here's one side to mimic this. It's kind of hard to put it right next to each other, but if you put it here, you'll get the design one this. And this, this design it has to be at least three to five years old. Um, this is something we don't do them as simple anymore. We actually add more detail now. So this is an older style design, but we're obviously able to mimic it out no matter, no matter what it is. So um, now I always want to emphasize to everybody, try to, try to create your own design. Um, take pride in what you do. Don't try to just copy somebody else's artwork because now you're not being original in, in your state of mind. So if you create your own artwork, whether it's tattooing, engraving, painting, pinstriping, then you become your own person. Um, I created my own style like years ago because I did not want to copy somebody else. And I noticed in, in the lowrider industry, the motorcycle industry, there's a lot of guys that are copying each other and they're trying to get credit on somebody else's style that's been around for decades over decades. So take pride, take pride in yourself and your artwork of uh, what you're gonna create. Like this style, like I said, is about three to five years old. So if you guys wanna try to copy it, that's cool with me. But in reality, you're just not gonna give yourself credit. It's gonna, they're gonna think it's done by me. Hopefully it's done right. So like I said, there's no, there's no etching on here. We're gonna draw, we're not gonna draw it. So it'll be true freehand engraving today. And we're almost done with it because after that we're gonna dot it and we're not gonna do that on video it just gets too dusty um, it's just done with a Dremel it's nothing no rocket science to it um, it's uh, it's just backgrounds the little dots no big deal um, we'll probably post a picture of the knockoff of before and after so you could, could see you know that it was a uh, you know freehand true freehand So there it is. This knockoff is done getting engraved and we will be hopefully posting. If Instagram lets me, uh, if Instagram lets me, what the hell was it a touch? So sorry about that guys little false error on our part touching buttons that we don't know about so you guys can see it's all freehand 
you know there's no drawing on here you know um hopefully instagram like i said lets us save it so you guys could see the start to finish there is no scribe marks there's no markers this is actually true freehand engraving and back again here's the knockoff that we we're trying to copy like i said this design's done about three to five years ago i could tell by just the not that many leaves in it um like i said we could put this next to each other and we could put it set side by side oh so, uh, we'll put this up for 24 hours on instagram check it out from start to finish uh, but and then let me uh bring this around here all right well i appreciate everybody that took their time uh, if you guys have any questions go ahead and send me a dm if it's about engraving if you have not done any research yourself don't waste your time okay um, I do engraving classes for people. People come from all over the world. Um, you know, I'm very fortunate that people take their time and invest the time with me uh, to teach them car and motorcycle engraving. Now, if you're gonna ask me questions, oh, what system, what chisel, what this, what that, if you have not done research yourself, you're almost gonna waste your time. Um, not trying to be rude, but unfortunately, I do work every day on my own customers parts so you're more than welcome to check out other videos on youtube you could hashtag no chicken scratch and for all those that ask no chicken scratch means no thin cuts okay so if you're thin cutting out there sorry you're chicken scratching so there's right ways to do something and wrong ways to do something and we take a lot of pride we're very fortunate to have a lot of great great customers over the years um, you guys could see us at live engraving uh, we will keep going to different events and doing live engraving and every once in a while we'll post up videos here live or we'll be posting on our YouTube channel uh, feel free to check it out you guys have a great day thank you for watching